We just got back from a four-day family vacation to the Ithaca, New York area. We stayed at two campgrounds, two nights each. First one at Robert Treeman State Park, pictured here. Uh, awesome swimming hole there. And then the next two nights at Toganok State Parks. Um, awesome all around, really enjoyed ourselves, visited a whole bunch of other places along the way, and we're gonna share with you that journey. So to start off, we're gonna start with Robert Treeman State Park. Um, in total, probably over those four days, we visited like five waterfalls. Here is a great waterfall, you know, just steps from the parking lot. You can have go into the swimming area. There's a great diving board. You can climb a little bit onto the, the waterfall. It's really nice. It is cold. It's the coldest um, water we went into that weekend, but uh, really nice. The kids enjoyed swimming in it. Uh, there's uh, kids jumping in to my wife. And uh, yeah, overall, just had a great time. Great stay there. Definitely would recommend it. It's cheap, you know, just $30 a night, get you a campground. Um, there's a playground on site. There's bathroom, showers, everything you need, fire pit. Uh, even if you have um, a, a recreational vehicle, you can plug in. Here is the rim trail at the state park. So every one of the state parks that we went to, you know, Buttermilk, Treeman, Toganok, they all have a rim trail and a gorge trail. There's really not much more than that. And the rim trail goes above the gorges and the gorge trail is like in it. Gorge trail is a lot more fun. Here's Lucifer uh, Falls, really beautiful falls. Uh, this was a great area um, as you can see. But uh, as I was saying, the rim trail is kind of boring, but due to COVID, you know, um, we went, this is August, 2020. Um, Due to COVID, they made it one way. So you have to go on the rim trail and then down the gorge trail. And that was most of these locations made it one way trails to uh, allow for social distancing. But um, yeah, it's worth it to go go to see the gorge trail. And a lot of times we would just be right in, in, right in the gorge. We wouldn't even be on the trail. And we had a lot of fun just uh, stepping through and wading through the water. Kids had a blast. Here's my wife getting a little fish massage um, with the fishies nibbling at her toes yeah and the boys just had so much fun going through the water we did too and uh yeah every every once in a while we found these little gems these little watering holes that we could just um dive into and have a blast uh in a minute i'm going to show you a uh, water slide and that was actually really cool really fun probably the most fun we had all weekend was at robert treeman state park and this specific watering hole uh, I'm gonna try to uh, give directions to that in the description. Uh, this isn't the slide, this didn't slide as well, but there is a slide coming that was really good. Uh, there's my wife and my son. Okay, this is the slide, this is so cool. Uh, we did something like this in Puerto Rico and Costa Rica, but here just, you know, just within a driving distance of our home, uh, I thought this was pretty incredible to have there. It's so much fun. Um, here, my son's doing it. Well, I go down and then I'm ready to catch them. And uh, you can also jump in there. There's a little spot and it's pretty deep, probably like five feet. But uh, yeah, definitely just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, couldn't recommend it enough. It was a great time. And here we even found a little newt or salamander. I think I think it's a newt. It's making its way to the, to the river there. Some food, a lot of food will be in this video. Uh, from the campground. Oh, this was also a great place. Also free in the Ithaca area. It's at Ithaca Children's Garden. A lot more than that's pictured here. You know, this was a great concrete turtle named Gala that was there, or Gaia. Um, there's an entrance to the park. Definitely check it out. Much better than the video I took there. Lots going on there. More food, cooking, cooking pretty much every meal over the campfire. Um, and just, uh, you know, cast iron cast iron um, pan it gets the job done here's buttermilk fall state park if you don't have a camping pass uh, it's eight dollars to park at all these state parks but if you do have if you are camping there all the state parks are free for you to access here again we're going up the rim trail pretty uh pretty aggressive hike here at buttermilk fall state park uh, but then once you get to the gorge trail you know it's really nice and a lot of these trails are about three quarters to a mile to go in and then um, there and you're at the gorge trail and it's just a good time from there. Um, really beautiful here, Buttermilk Falls. I'd say um, from just viewing wise, Buttermilk Falls was definitely the most pretty. Also, we went here on a Saturday, so it was super busy. You know, the other state parks we were on on week, weekdays and it was much less busy, much less hectic. So we enjoyed them a lot more. I think we would have had a much better experience at Buttermilk Falls. 
had we not gone on a Saturday. But even still, we had a really good time. You know, again, kids swimming, I was swimming. Yeah. Here, another little water slide we kind of found. Um, <laughs> yeah, just a lot of fun overall. Definitely had a really great time during uh, yeah. at these state parks. So this was our last state park we went to, Toganok State Park. Uh, here was the playground, and then there's uh, rentals for um, kayaks, uh, stand-up paddle boards, um, all sorts of things. And then here's the beach. So right next to the playground, there's the beach. And you can just go swimming there. There's lifeguards. Um, not too much else going on. Oh, here's ribeye steak sandwiches that I made, uh, inspired by Ed Zuckerman, famous chef. And uh, here is Toganok's main hiking trail. That's the Gore Trail. That one you, is two-way, so you can just go on. Here's a weasel I found. I woke up early in the morning, and uh, there was a weasel. I think it's a weasel. Anyway, getting our day started with another meal, and we're going to start hiking that soon. Here's uh, what the campground kind of looks like. All the state parks kind of look the same. Uh, just a little plot of land to put up a tent. Uh, here was a swing set at that state uh, park. And here's the Gorge Trail at Taganok. Uh, this was really fun too. Just walked along the whole Gorge Trail. Um, really cool stone, really cool uh, cliff faces. And again, just a bunch of fun for the kids to romple through. And uh, yeah, just a good time. Great place to visit, so much to do. And so much for uh, kids of all ages, really. If they were older, I'd take them to like cliff jumping spots, I think. But even at this young age, you know, they can just wade into these pools and have a good time, dig around for some uh, crayfish. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth taking the trip. This was a great swimming hole too, uh, that we found. They, they spent a couple minutes there exploring <laughs> and uh, swimming. So that was cool. And here is the climax of the trip, which was those falls. They weren't that strong when we were there. And then here's Stewart Park, another great little free park in the Ithaca area. And this is part of the Finger Lakes, actually. Uh, and we got there right at sunset. So overall, it was really a great trip. We really enjoyed ourselves um, and we'll definitely do it again. I was supposed to be doing a triathlon, but that got canceled due to COVID. But I had it booked anyway, so we decided to just go. Um, so we'll definitely be back uh, lots to do uh, so we'll probably just do it next year oh here was a great blueberry picking we did and they also have raspberries and other pickings during the season um, definitely recommend checking it out we had so much fun picking these blueberries uh, probably ate double what we picked <laughs> but uh, they were so good never went blueberry picking before the boys really enjoyed themselves they did not want to leave and then our last stop here before we headed home was Ithaca Falls and this is a really quick uh, hike you know you can see it pretty much from the road and the parking is right there and uh, a great great view probably the best looking waterfall we actually went to and apparently you can swim there is what someone said anyway definitely a great place to check out do the trip